Hi, Dan here with Exact Blade in Northbrook, Illinois, professional sharpener and cutlery store owner. Today we're going to talk about extending the life of your Tormek stones, the SG250s. Um, last video we did for you, we showed how to manipulate the tray in a T8 or a T7 to get the water level higher so you can continue using the stone. But at some point the stone gets small enough where it's just not viable on a T8 or a T7 because of the hardware on top of the machine gets in the way of your sharpening of most tools. You may be able to get it down to a nub if you're just doing a chisel, but anything that uh, has a handle or strays to the left or right of the stone is going to get in the way of the machine once the stone gets to a certain use uh, or a certain level. That being said, you ask, well, does the stone have a usable life and you just have to give it up? Well, because we're uh, in the business of profits, as you can see here, here's our uh, Tormek stones. We have quite a few, and uh, we'll burn through these in you know less than a year. I'd say we're probably one of the uh, top users of Tormek stones in the in the country. I mean, we're going through 20, 25 stones a year. Uh, that's how busy we are. So I said to myself, boy, we're leaving money on the table, so let's figure out how to use these stones. As you can see, there's a variety of widths, but Take a look at this one on this little T3. We're right down to where it actually begins to uh, recede here on this, this bevel. And we're still using this stone. And what we did is we took the T3, we took two sanding sponges right here to raise the tray so the stone goes in the water. As you can see here, and you can see that the water is cascading on the stone. with the two sanding sponges right here. So we're able to sharpen knives and get the job done. And so what I'm gonna do is all these stones you see here, including the stones that are on the existing machines when they get low, except for this diamond one here, that one doesn't count. Um, we are going to be able to use all these stones for months to come and save quite a bit of money. So if you want to take a look, I'll sharpen a knife for you real quick. Here we go. This stone is the smallest stone in our house as far as diameter. By the way, this is an SG250 stone on a T3. It does fit. As you can see right here, the arbor comes through just enough for the locking nut. I made no modifications, so I used a T7, T8 stone, or an SG250, if you will, on a T3, or even a T4, if you want. So you don't have to get the smaller stone. You can still use this wider stone on the smaller machine. It does fit, contrary to what the instruction manuals from Tormex tell you. And as you can see, sharp is just fine. The stability, by the way, is great. This little T3, I have it set up on a soft towel on a workbench. It's very quiet. And for this kind of work, it's quite stable because the stone diameter is smaller. It's more compact. It seems to be really smooth. It doesn't have a lot of wobble this way. And it also stays true longer. The, the lower this stone gets, the truer it stays in between having to uh, true your stone or flatten it out. So as you can see, I'm sharpening a 6 inch utility knife to about a 16 degree bevel angle and uh, it's performing quite nicely. And it's not even getting in the way of the hardware. So even though this stone is that low, this hardware on the T3 doesn't get in the way. So now we can use this stone right down to a nub. That's going to save us a lot of money. As you know, these stones are upwards of 179 US dollars. And here's what most people are doing. They get down about this far. And then they're throwing it away or using it for something else. But we can get it down to this and even lower. So most people are getting it to this. Here, 
we'll use up this entire amount right here. We'll, we'll get it almost to the uh, label. So just a way to discover how to save money and be efficient, if, especially if you're a professional sharpener and uh, you're doing a service for people. This is a way to save money and uh, without any major modifications other than two sanding blocks. So thank you for your time and uh, look for more videos from us. Bye now.